Hi and welcome to another episode of Willis Garage. Today I have a fun project. I have this Ofero Laser 2. This is a laser from Auteur. It's a good laser, but it's not the most powerful thing in the world. Now I have the exciting chance to swap out the laser module with a big laser module from Opt Lasers. This laser is the one you see the picture of here and it's called the PLH3D XT845 Watt laser. My plan in the future is to use this laser also on my new CNC machine. If you go into the Opt Lasers website you can see all the kits they have available there and instructions on how you're going to connect them. You can also buy this laser to build your own DIY machines no problem. Before I get on with this project, let's see what we get in this box of a laser kit from Opt Lasers. Here we got some stickers. Ah, this is uh, Opt Lasers' uh, own uh, laser shield, which goes down on the laser and protect your eyes. Here we have the height reference tool. We get the laser itself. This is the Opt Lasers PLH3D XT8 45 watt laser. We also get a set of Opt Lasers laser goggles. Wow, these are very high quality. Thanks. For the kit that I bought, I also got the Opt Lasers Quick Connection Magnetic Mount. They call it uh, Opt Lasers Laser Dock. And we also get the Opt Lasers laser uh, control box with a key and some buttons. And in the bottom here we also get the power supply. This is a 24 volt output power supply. Air hose for the air assist. We also get a cable to connect the laser. Everything feels very high quality here. Here we have the cables for the laser dock, the magnetic mount. Here we have an, a universal signal cable, is to be used when uh, connecting other brands of CNC machines or laser machines to this laser. And we also got a set of uh, mounting plates and screws for the laser itself. So I have thought a bit about this particular Orter of Ferro laser. It's a good laser with a good work area and stuff like that, but it's lacking something vital that I want for the machine when I'm using the new Opt Lasers laser head. This machine misses and stops on every axis. I'm going to change this machine out with my trusted old Orter Laser Master 2 laser has its own enclosure and it has end stops on every axis and as you can see the enclosure is no problem if I'm mounting the laser like this there is a lot of height up here yeah so I think I'm going to use this one that was it for part one of this rebuild if you want to follow me on this journey please like and or subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want a notification on the next release of this build. So as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.